All right, so if you've been paying any attention this afternoon, ChatGPT rolled out Search GPT to what appears to be the entire world. So I thought, let's take a look. Let's compare Search GPT to my favorite engine, Perplexity, and see which one's better. So you can see I've got them side by side here. Let's go ahead and take a look. So to access Search GPT, you need to click on the globe down here. We click on that. It says Search. I can pick what I want. Let's go ahead and we'll just start by, I guess we'll do a search on me to figure things out and see what it does. So we'll type in my name here and we'll go ahead and give it a try. I'll do the same over in Perplexity. Let's see what we get. Looks like I didn't press go over here. Let's try that again. Why is it not going? Let's see. Let's move the picture a little bit. There we go. And now we'll take a look at Perplexity. So the interface, decent, no big deal. Let's take a look on both sides. Both seem to be getting re results relatively quickly. Looks like uh, in doing it, they just searched my website to pull information up about me. Not that that's a problem. Uh, looks like we got a little more going on with Perplexity, with LinkedIn and some other sites. We'll take a look. So it appears that we have, what do we see here? Six sites. Yeah, six sites, including YouTube. Let's take a look over here and see what we've got it's for sources. We can take a look at sources. Maybe. There we go. So we've got my website, Whitebeard Strategies. Uh, it looks very similar. It looks like we've got four sources there. So not terribly bad and probably pretty similar information. Obviously, we're pulling in more images and we're pulling in some videos, I think. Let's take a look at videos. We have that option to see videos over here. So that's nice. It would be really easy to do. Just by clicking on that, we can see other videos that are up. I don't see that over here on ChatGPT, but again, it doesn't mean that's the end of the world, but one significant difference. So obviously, you get to decide which you like better. Let's go look for something maybe a little bit more current here. Uh, let's see, it's Halloween today, so let's look for Halloween 2024. And we'll do a search there. We'll do the same thing here. I should have started a new thread on both. That would be the fair thing to do. Let's go ahead and do that new chat. There we go. Let's see here, Halloween 2024, and I didn't do the search engine there, I don't think, maybe I did, let's find out. No, I don't think I did, we, although we're getting some stuff here, let's go try that again. New chat again, something to get used to, a little bit of different interface here, obviously it does multiple things, so it's understandable that it's a little bit different than perplexity is. I can't just do the search, I've actually got to click on search the web and then click over here. Not a big deal, but just a slightly different one. Let's go click a new thread here and Halloween 2024 and see what we get. So we're getting some graphics. That seems good. It's got a couple different things here. I uh, got some tr tradition. It says we can download a Chrome extension here uh, to switch our default to search the search engine chat GPT. Not a big surprise that they're going to be offering that. Um, not something I want to do yet, but uh, definitely not a huge surprise. We're going to grab a screenshot so we can share that a little bit later. We'll even clean that up by getting my face out of the way here. Always nice to show what options exist there. So obviously one of the things they're going to be working on is that ability to do that. And certainly it makes sense. They want to be your default search engine. So some historical background, some celebrations, some popular costumes. And then uh, I'm in Michigan right now. So it's picked up on local events in Muskegon. It's about 20 miles away from where I am. So that's reasonable. Let's see what we've got in perplexity. Um, again, some sweet treats, some spooky cupcakes, savory dishes, party dishes, different results, definitely. Uh, but we give it a pretty generic search, so I'm not going to complain there. Now, the one thing I do really like about perplexity is related searches that come up at the end. And I'm not seeing that here with ChatGPT, so uh, that could be an issue at some point in time. Let's go ahead and get rid of that little button. There we go. For sources, we've got two sources, it looks like that it's pulled from citation wise. And let's take a look here in perplexity. And it looks like we've got five, I'm guessing here. So a little bit better search overall, five sources, two sources, but you know, not, not a huge deal. Uh, and obviously somewhat relevant to both. I'm curious to see, uh, you know, what Google might do, but candidly, I'm not using Google very much anymore. So we'll keep it between perplexity and between ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, let's go one more search here and let's see, we'll leave it on search. Start a new chat again, just to be fair. Start everything fresh, new search. And let's take a look at, um, I know what I'm going to do. So I've got an Anchor and KER uh, power bank re recall I heard about. So let's go take a look at that and see what it tells me. And we'll go over and look at the same thing here. Anchor power bank recall. 
And let's see what we've got. So it goes to Anchor, giving me their product recall and showing me some of the products. This is the one that I had seen it about right here, this 20,000 one. And talks about what we should be doing, verifying our model, how we can dispose of it, how we can visit their site for uh, recalls, how we can contact Anchor. Uh, decent information, all things considered. You know, it's definitely telling me what I probably need to know. Let's take a look at, on the perplexity side. So we're over on the right here. Uh, same type of basic information. It's got uh, a little bit different, but the same models are showing. Uh, safety risks, talking about the safety risks here. It's Let's see. Uh, because they can overheat just a different way of label. I kind of like the bullet points better, but the information's there on both sides. Immediate action required, what we should do. So definitely not not significantly different. Again, I will admit I probably prefer um, perplexity, but that may just be because I'm more familiar with it. So initial response or reaction here, obviously two of the most popular search engines out there. I'm not showing Google because Canada don't use Google much anymore. I like how these both give me answers. I like both of these better than Google because if I go to Google and look for one of these, what am I going to get? I'm going to get a bunch of, literally, we'll go ahead and look at it here, Google. I'm going to get a bunch of sites to go look at. So it's an anchor power bank recall. Now, I may get a little AI information at the top. There we do have a little bit. So we've got a little bit of information there, a couple links off on the side. So, you know, arguably this isn't too bad either. It's giving me good information. Uh, I like Google's layout. Candidly, haven't looked at it much lately. So they've made some pretty significant improvements. Uh, they talk about how their AI is experimental. That's not a surprise. Gemini definitely acts like it's experimental. But I got to give Google credit here where it's due. Um, this is a very good layout. It's very user friendly. Makes sense. If I had my choice between the three, I think I'm still probably going to go with perplexity, probably because I'm most familiar with it. Um, kudos to Google here. I like the fact that they're providing the summaries now and everything's there. Also got some nice quick links here, which are really helpful to get over to where I need to go. Uh, looks like we've got a product recall page over here and the same. And I think when we run perplexity, if we can get back to that, it may be gone already. Let's take a look at that perplexity search. There we go. Um, I've got similar stuff here. Not a direct link. It doesn't look like over to perplexity. So in that area, candidly, I don't think that, or I'm sorry, not to anchor. Didn't give me quite as good. They did give me a site link here, though, uh, through Gold Law, which looks like um, that could be... That could just be a fishing expedition. I'm not going to sure what that is. But again, decent information. Um, hard to tell. It's, you know, there's differences here. And I suppose it's down to personal preference of what you pick. Um, Perplexity has been my default search engine for the last few months. It's probably going to stay my default search engine for right now. But I definitely think this is a big deal that uh, ChatGPT's integrated search. I think it's going to definitely impact Google a ton, probably impact Perplexity as well. And I'd love your feedback. Which of these search engines between Google, Perplexity, and ChatGPT do you find that you like best? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation. Again, this is a quick, short look at it. But uh, it's, we come up here, I want to show you the differences and show you what we've got. Have a great night.